All right, and I'm back. So what you can see what I have here, I brought in all of these different uh, video clips. I went ahead and resized them, turned off the audio, and I shrunk them down. But if you look closely here, you might see a problem. All of these are stacked one underneath the other, which I don't want. I'm going to show you how you can move these off to the side so that you'll be able to have them play one after another. So I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and click on this one. And what you could do, you could just click and drag. Uh, I'm going to hold down shift though. By doing, by holding down shift, you can see it's going to snap right here at the end. So I'm just going to go ahead and, oh, let's see. I have both of these clicked. I want to select each one individually. And I'm just going to click and drag. Click and drag. So you can see how I want each one to go ahead and to be stacked. You kind of get these stair steps going on, but once one finishes, the other plays. Here, let me move these over here. There we go. Great. So now these are all staggered, and these will all play one after another. Uh, what I want to do now is I want to also, at the very end, let me just go ahead and scrub through this. I think it will be nice if I actually show a piece of the finish um, project, what it looks like, uh, which I don't, uh, I have not brought that in. Also, I'm going to want to have audio, so I'm going to bring some audio in as well. So I'm going to go ahead and tell it to file import, or you can always do the shortcut command I. And I want to bring in, I have this TIFF file right here, which is a finished version. I'm going to go ahead and tell open. And in a moment, I'll bring in the audio. So I'm going to hold down shift. So it snaps right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag this onto a new layer. And you can see that this clip is right here. Now, I don't want this image, uh, the image to be displayed throughout the entire process. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hold down shift and if you click at the very beginning here you can click and drag it so that it displays right here and you can see over here at the end um, I have my two minutes in this clip the speed painting will not last that whole two minutes uh, let's see once I have this you can see that the scale I need to make this smaller because it doesn't fit and let me show you a little bit of animation what I'm going to do at the very beginning here And let's see, let's go just a couple of frames. This will be good. I'm going to go ahead and click on this triangle here to display the transforms. And let's go ahead and lower the scale first. So here's the image. I'm going to go ahead and make it a little bit smaller. And say, for example, uh, as it's being displayed, I want this to scale just slightly um, up to become bigger. Uh, we're going to add keyframes. If I just leave these settings right here uh, and leave these static, they're not going to change over time. But if you click on this little stopwatch right here, if I click on this, what this allows me to do, this allows me to add a keyframe. So now uh, I'm going to look at my timeline. We're at 122. Maybe I want to display this image for five seconds. So at 127, here we'll go ahead and just say at 128, flat. Okay, right here, what I want to do, uh, since I already have a keyframe for scale, if I click and just drag this setting, here we'll just go a little bit larger right here. You can see that I'm scaling it up 34%. What this, what's going to happen here is let's go ahead and play this. You can see that it's slowly scaling up. Great. That's exactly what I want. And here what I'm also going to add 
is here. You know, let's just go straight up to 130. So I'll have a two second. Uh, now what I want to do, I want to fade this out um, across two seconds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and let's go back to this keyframe here. Hold down shift and you can move your current time indicator. You can see it snaps right here. There's an opacity. Opacity is at 100% means that it's completely opaque. I'm going to put a keyframe here and now I'm going to go ahead and move my current time indicator up two seconds and this time I'm going to lower the opacity down to 0%. By default black is the background color. So now when we play this from here you can see it's going to slowly fade out. Now I'm just going to go ahead and bring this down uh, because since it's fading to black I don't need it to be long. Alright, so now what I want to do, you might decide is like, well you know what, I would like to have titles. So let's go ahead and create titles. Let me go ahead and save this really quick. Command S. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and move my current time indicator to the very beginning. Let's click on this guy to uh, minimize this. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a new layer. This is a layer text. And what we get right here, you can see text is placed at the very top. It exists on top of everything else. What I'm going to do is so they could see everything that I have here. I'm going to go ahead and just select these clips and let me just move them off to the side here. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and I double click here, here and I can go ahead and type. So I'm going to put uh, what title do I want? Uh, Vector illustration speed painting. Right now I typed it and I'm going to go ahead and click on it. I have my paragraph panel displayed down here. I want centered uh, justification. Here I'm not done right here. I'm going to go ahead and put by Aldo Figueroa. Now this text is really small you could go ahead and change everything. I don't have to select it. If I just click right here, I have my character panel. I could select a font. I could change the size. So say for example I want this big. Maybe I want my name to be larger. You could change these settings individually. Uh, if you want to change your font, you could do so as well. Maybe I want something specific. So depending on what font you have installed in your system, you could select something different. I'm just going to go ahead and stick with this Helvetica for right now. Uh, you can see right here, uh, maybe I want to change the setting. So I'm going to go in here in my vector. I'm not going to change the text. I'm going to go to transform. I'm going to change the position where it says 360. I want to raise this up. I'm just kind of eyeballing it here. And maybe I decide that, you know what, I also want this to get larger as it starts. Great, let's do it. So, uh, let's see, for the scale. Maybe I want the scale to start at this size here. And let's see, for this title, I'm going to say I want 7 seconds. So that I'll have a 1 second fade in, 1 second fade out. So, we'll say at... Here you go, at 7. I'm going to go ahead and increase the scale for the title. Now I don't want it to cut off all the way. Great, we'll have this. So as time is going by, the scale is increasing. Excellent. And now what I want to do is I want to fade in. I'm just going to go ahead and work with the opacity. I'm going to go ahead and just jump 
to the one second. I'm going to put a keyframe here and I jump to the very end or beginning and lower the opacity. It adds that other keyframe. So let me go ahead and jump to six. I want to be specific. Now, don't press this button again because if you do, it'll remove it. I'm going to click right here to add another keyframe. And so now what I have, I have another keyframe. Even though it's at 100, it's going to keep those settings static. Let us move to the next keyframe, which is right here at 7. I just held down Shift and moved my current time indicator. And let's drop this down to 0. Since it already has keyframes, and knows that if you change the values, it's going to automatically add another keyframe. And now I'm going to go ahead and bring my the end of this uh, text right here. I'm going to hold down Shift to snap to this edge here. So that way I could see that this text only displays at this area right here. You can see I have this black. So now what I need to do is I need to go ahead and move all of these clips. I'm going to hold down Shift to click on them. Let's say I need to click on one more click and now I'm gonna let's see let's minimize this hold down shift and click and drag this so it snaps so now when I play this that's gonna fade out and then it goes straight into the speed painting okay we're not done let's go ahead and save this uh, now I want to before I add create my credits I do want to make sure that uh, who, whoever's art assets that I'm using, for example, I have this image here that I found on Flickr using Creative Commons. It's a portrait uh, by Rachel Cyan. I want to give her credit because I think it's important that uh, you give artists the credit they deserve. I also have this audio file that I was able to find that I'm going to go to Safari here. I like using Free Music Archive. I found this pretty cool song uh, by Patrick Lee, so I want to make sure that I give him credit. It's called Bad Panda Number 42, or the album is Bad Panda Number 42, and the song is Quit Quitting Time. It's 3 minutes and 39 seconds. I've already downloaded it. So uh, for Creative Commons, you want to make sure that you read the license. For this one, you can't use it for commercial purposes. Um, I'm not making any money off of this. And I want to make sure that you give credit to the people, uh, that they give you give credit attribution. So let's go ahead and import that audio file. I'm going to file, import, file. And here is the MP3 track. I'm going to go ahead and tell it to open. And I want to bring that file in as well. So I'm going to go ahead and select the file, bring it in here. And with this audio track here, it's like we can't just play it. We have to do this button, this RAM preview. It plays it once. And now if I play it again, it's going to start playing with the audio. So what I'm going to do for the audio, I'm going to lower it a bit. It's kind of loud. I'll say minus 10 decibels. Oh, have to do the RAM preview. All right, so here's the audio. You know, stop it. Find some nice music that you would like to, that you think that would be appropriate for your speed painting. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm let's say I'm going to leave this as is for right now. I need to create my credits now. 